Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to be looking at uni and multicellular organisms and how substances move in and out of them. As we looked at last week, organisms are made of cells and these cells that are adapted to their functions are called specialised cells. Algae, that we can see on this fence here, is an example of a unicellular organism. Another example of this is an amoeba. Organisms such as plants and animals are examples of multicellular organisms. They're made up of different cell types that do different functions. Unicellular and multicellular organisms are living things. This means they need substances to enter and leave their bodies. The way that this happens is through a process called diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. I'm going to demonstrate this now. Substances move into and out of cells by the process of diffusion. And the way we can think about this is thinking about how we can smell perfume in a room. When someone sprays perfume, all of the perfume particles are gathered in one place and it's what we call a high concentration. Through the process of diffusion, particles move from a high concentration to an area of low concentration. So it starts off beforehand with all of the perfume particles clustered together. They start to spread out around the room. This is a random process caused by the movement of the particles. See how we can see at the start, all of the particles are on a high concentration, and after a short period of time, all of the particles have spread out and they're now in a lower concentration. That's the process of diffusion, and it's how things move into and out of cells. We're now going to do a quick demonstration of how substances enter and leave uni and multicellular organisms. We're going to take two millilitres of food colouring and put it into the base of each of these petri dishes. We're going to, do, we're going to take our model organisms, place them on top of the food colouring and see which one absorbs all of it the quickest. So, we've left these for 10 minutes and we'll have a quick look at how they've taken up the substance at the different rate. The smallest one, shown the unicellular organism, is turned completely blue with the food colouring, which means it's diffused in through the membrane quickly. On the far right hand side, however, where there was the smaller surface area to volume ratio, hasn't been able to diffuse through as fast a rate. This means it would take longer for substances to travel. With larger multicellular organisms, they need a specialised transport system to transport nutrients and substances around that body. To understand how substances move into larger multicellular organisms, we need to understand how these organisms are organised. Last week we looked at organelles and cells. We know that the nucleus is an organelle that contains genetic information and controls the cell. A type of cell which contains a nucleus is called an epithelial cell. We're going to come on to that what that is soon. The epithelial cell forms an epithelial tissue. And part of the organ that this forms is part of the lungs. And the lungs forms the organ system of the respiratory system. This is what we need to be able to have efficient gas exchange in larger multicellular organisms, such as humans. So there we have it, the different levels of organisation in a multicellular organism. The smallest being an organelle, which makes up cells, and then tissues, organs, organ systems and organisms. Why is this necessary? Organisms, whether they be unicellular or multicellular, need to uptake nutrients and substances to help them survive. Without water, the plant will die. The reason this happens is that without water, the vacuole starts to shrink, so the plant, plant starts to flop and wilt. As we can see here, there hasn't been enough water in this plant, so it started to wilt as the vacuole shrank and the plant started to die. This lesson we've looked at unicellular and multicellular organisms and how substances move in and out of them. Thanks for watching everyone, have a lovely week.